Hello guys, it's Randall with BitRaged. So I dropped a video on Electra a few days ago, and I gave some concerns I had for the community to address. I gave some issues that I saw, some things that concerned me. And a member of the Electra uh, core team reached out to me, Renette, and he asked if we could talk. He said he wanted to share some things he felt like Maybe we didn't completely understand their vision for Electra. I'm using my words here, but you can see the comment. And if there's something I want you to understand about Bear Rage is that we are fair and honest. Uh, we're not here to destroy a project. Like I mentioned in the pinned comment here after the video, I actually bought Electra. And I bought two million of it. So I actually own more Electra than a lot of people getting in on it in the last few weeks so I don't have a vested interest in just in destroying them I just want to share my concerns about the project so he reached out to me he asked if we could talk so we had a interview on discord I asked some questions and I'm gonna share that with you and I'm gonna do a screen uh, shot of the discord chat I'm going to give you um, a few seconds to read it. So pause the video and read it and then continue the video when you're done reading to go to the next slide so you can read all of it. After I've gone through the whole chat, I'm going to give my thoughts on uh, what was said in my uh, commentary. But I want you to have the chance to see what they had to say, um, exactly how they said it, not taken out of context, not just my opinion on it, but just so you can make a decision for yourself. I'm most interested in presenting a fair uh, view and I felt like they reached out to me and I appreciated that that they'd reached out to me and I have to say this looking at their community on discord they actually gave me access to look at some of the private areas and I was impressed that they went that far to try and show their transparency I was impressed by the community the fact that a lot of these people are just getting involved with Electra and they're sharing you know their skills to try and make it a success I'm impressed by that uh, because I'm an entrepreneur and so I have to appreciate that value so let's go ahead and look at I'll look at the one discord I'm gonna go through it give you a chance to read through it again you're gonna have to pause the video but I'll give you a few seconds um, on each slide pause the video read it and continue on and uh, then I'll follow up at the end
All right, guys, so you had a chance to read over the chat we had. Um, basically, I'm going to leave it for you to decide your opinion of it. I just want to mention one thing, and that's the transaction speeds, because I do believe that's an important point. Okay, so there's a video here that was just released by somebody in the electric community. And they're trying to demonstrate a speed test for Electra, and I want to show you the video. Okay, I want you to notice that it is unconfirmed. So it shows up in the wallet almost instantly, but it, it's unconfirmed. This is the point that it seems like a lot of people are missing. And it, for some people, it doesn't seem like an important point, but here's the reason why it is important. An unconfirmed transaction is not, the money's not in your account. The tokens are not in your account. It's not in your account until it's confirmed. You can't use your Electra until it's confirmed, which takes one to five minutes. And when you look at it from that perspective, one to five minutes is not extremely fast. And as far as unconfirmed transactions, almost every other coin, unconfirmed transactions are almost instant. So they show up in the block explorer quite fast. And as far as the comparison that a someone made to from Electra to Rayblox. There's no comparison. Rayblox is extremely fast in confirmed transactions. Uh, e even Ethereum's within seconds usually. And Electra takes one to five minutes. So the fact that it's showing up as unconfirmed doesn't change that fact. Um, instant unconfir unconfirmed transactions really aren't that important because you can't use the funds. If you want to demonstrate this, you can go look at a Litecoin block explorer, you can look at a Ripple block explorer, you can look at an Ethereum block explorer, and look at the block times, and then go look at the Electra block explorer, and you'll notice the difference. So I thought I'd actually show you. Uh, this is Electra uh, blockchain. So you'll see uh, between the block times, there's about three minutes, four minutes, uh, two minutes, or not quite two minutes. And you notice there's quite a bit of time difference. Uh, three minutes. It's not one second. And that's my point, is the transactions are not actually taking place in one second. If they were, that would be revolutionary, but they're not. A transaction is uh, beginning to end, which means from when it's sent to when it is confirmed in the person's wallet, which means it's spendable by them. That takes one to five minutes with Electra, and there's a lot of coins that are faster than that. So I'm sorry, I just have to be honest about that. If that's not an important thing to you, and if you don't really care about that, that's fine, but you should understand that is the fact. Um, is Bitcoin slower in that regards? Yeah, uh, Bitcoin takes quite a bit longer for transactions to confirm, but probably in August or late fall, uh, they will be fixing that with Lightning, which is gonna basically even the board. So all, all the coins should be on a pretty level playing field um, or close to it. I, I really believe that the, all the blockchains are gonna kinda even out and um, then it's gonna go from minutes to seconds to milliseconds at that point that's going to be pretty competitive. So my point in closing this out is just, if you believe in the electric community, you have to be careful about making uh, statements that are not actually factual. It's like um, this person commented on the lecture video and they said Litecoin is definitely not faster. That's not true. Litecoin is actually faster. If you look at transaction confirmations, it averages out faster. All right, guys, so I think I'll leave you with that. Um, I encourage you to leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Um, please base it on facts and please leave the vulgar language out. Uh, we are happy to accept any comments, but you need to keep the vulgar language out. We are not allowing that. I hope that you appreciated our fairness and how we've represented this and giving you the opportunity to see Electra team and what they had to say. 
and uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and uh, hit the like button and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks and take care guys.